School is for boys in year five through to year eight. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about three very important things that set the upper school apart from other areas. Firstly, preparedness. Second, opportunity. And then finally, values. Preparedness comes in many forms. We're delighted to be able to offer a variety of provision for our pupils in readying them for the next stages of their life. In terms of the academic side of things, we provide booster groups, teaching and learning uh, networks, uh, sessions in English and maths to get them prepared for 13 plus and 11 plus examinations, but also I think quality teaching at the heart of it with high expectations is so important in reading the boys for the next stage. Opportunity. Our boys are very, very fortunate to have great opportunities in the school, not least of all in the form of the sports, music, arts and drama. Um, the opportunity for them to explore leadership potentials, to learn about themselves, uh, to be ambassadors of the schools and act as big brothers, mentors around the school. And we're delighted that they take up those opportunities um, and thrive in those areas. And finally, and probably more importantly, values. We challenge our boys to take on these values of gentlemanliness, integrity, leadership, commitment to the cause. Not just for our head boy or the prefects, the house captains, but all across the upper school where they're seen to be these mentors, these, these guiding lights for the younger pupils to follow. So, thank you very much for the very, very short stop in the upper school. I hope to see you or your son in the near future. Harry, our head boy for 2020, so thank you for joining me Harry. Um, I've got a few questions for you and I hope you'll be able to help out some of the parents that are looking around the school. What are you looking forward to the most about being head boy this year? I'm looking forward to being a mentor, not just to myself, and self-policing other people to do the right thing, helping other people as well as myself and helping the younger boys who may not have as much experience as me, as I've had about nine, eight years at the school. Um, for some of the parents that don't know so much about the school, do you want to talk a little bit about some of the amazing experiences that you've encountered whilst being here for those nine years? So I've been on many tours, many school trips to museums, uh, art museums, I've been to Barbados for a cricket tour, I've been to Barcelona for a, cricket, uh, for a football tour and had loads of excellent sporting opportunities. Mm -hmm. Now I know you're also a fantastic musician, do you want to tell us a little bit about music at the school? Uh, so I love how the school does music. We have loads of different teachers who are specialised in one area or one instrument and can help you and we have our music curriculum. So I play the clarinet and probably going to start the saxophone and I have my teacher, then you might have someone who plays the flute. So I think how it works is very organised and good. Mm -hmm. Now big year for you. Mm -hmm. um, we're asking you to be a leader of the school in difficult times. Um, but also you've got some pretty important exams coming up. How well do you think you've prepared for those? Uh, and um, you know, tell us a little bit about the learning that goes on in the school in preparation for things like the assessments coming up. I feel like how we manage it is very well, but you need to be organised. I would say probably being organised is one of the most important things because you've got to learn to walk before you can run. You can't go jumping into level four, three test papers straight away you've got to start with the bits, oh do I know this, do I know that, how can I improve on this area, how, what have I done well here. And are you confident? Well I'm confident that I can be the best I can. I love that, I, I really love that and that's obviously one of our mottos, to be your best self mm -hmm. and certainly, um, obviously Harry's certainly by no means uh, the finished article um, but he's doing fantastically well as uh, head boy of the school. So I'd like to thank you very much for your time. I'm sure the parents uh, greatly appreciate that and um, you better get back to the classroom. I hope you enjoyed joining us for this virtual tour of reception. I hope this tour helped you to see the fantastic facilities that we have to offer here. In addition, the amazing teaching staff and the broad curriculum here at Cumnor House. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact our admissions department to book into one of our virtual Q&A sessions with myself hosted throughout the term. From everyone here at Covenant House, we look forward to meeting you very soon.